Welcome back Nintendo Collectors, hope you're well guys. Alex here with another video. Got a ram packed video for you this week. Done a few video tours of my mate's arcades and I've got loads of pickups to show you as well. Um, it's been a while actually, I feel like I've had a whole weekend of gaming, doing my own thing. I mean, let's face it, for the last eight weeks I've been non-stop working, worked every weekend, so I really did deserve a weekend off of just mucking about gaming and picking up stuff. It's really, really cool. I managed to capture most of it on video, but it might be a little bit choppy, so bear with us, guys, but it's all there, so hang on in there. There's some cool stuff coming up. So let's just start off with Friday, right? Friday started p pissing down with rain in the afternoon, and I thought this is a great excuse to, to pack up tools, get back home, get changed, and hit the road, because I had to go up to Leeds, where my mate Jim was putting me up for the night. Because Saturday morning I wanted to get to Scarborough uh, to pick up this really rare, uh, well it's not that rare, it's in a generic cocktail cab, Nintendo cab, but the game inside is quite rare, Space Fever Colour. Um, but the reason why I want this cab is for spares basically, because I've got Sheriff coming over from Norway, and when I saw this cab turn up on eBay, this Space Fever Colour, I thought I've got to have that. It's a long old way to go, but you know what, if you break it up it's not too bad, you know, and Jim kindly offered to put me up for night, Friday night, which was a blessing, basically. And, of course, another excuse for me to go and, and check out someone else's arcade. So the video coming up in a minute, I'll show you in a minute, is of Jim's arcade and me just mucking about in there playing some games. And he's got a really cool setup, guys. He's got, like, some classic dedicated arcade machines. And he's got a really unusual and very clever main setup on his Star Wars is Atari Return of the Jedi Star Wars cab, which is a yoke, it's got like a yoke, um, which would have been used for, what was the other game? Uh, Major Havoc, I think it was, no, Major Havoc used a spinner. Um, what's the other, there's other Star Wars games that use the yoke. But also you can play Paperboy on it, uh, iRobot on it, Space Harrier on it. So we was going through all these games on main using the yoke, and it was just absolutely brilliant, it worked perfectly I was really impressed and a, a hit of a switch you can just go back to the original hardware which is in the cab uh, the original PCB of Return of Jedi which is a really really cool game and he was basically teaching me how to play that so I had a fantastic time so anyway without further ado guys just check out this video it's really cool this is Jim's Arcade well, hi guys, we're here at Jim's Arcade up in Leeds. He's invited me over to stay tonight while I pick up my Space Fever Colour from uh, Scarborough. And he's got some fantastic cabs in here. These are classic cabs here you've got, Jim. Uh, this is Jim here. Hello. <laughs> now, Jim, tell me about your machines here, mate, because you've got some real classics here. Haven't you? You've got, you haven't got a main machine, but you've got four really cool dedicated machines. Yeah, so... What have we got here? The two you see over in the corner. Yeah. That's where it all started, really. Right, so you've got Space Invaders, and that's a Tato. It's a Tato Space Invaders, yeah. and a, a Jedi. Yeah. Uh, the Jedi is actually the game I used to play in an arcade in Manchester right. as a kid. And I managed to buy it in the early 90s. It's the first machine I bought. Well, I was going to say, it's quite a late cab, isn't it? Yeah, you must it's about 83. Oh, 83? Yeah, oh. I bought it uh, in the early 90s. Right, okay, you bought it in the early 90s. So it came out in 1983, that's Return yeah. of Jedi. Yeah. I do remember it, but it's towards... I remember playing yeah. actually towards the end of when I was sort of getting out of arcades, to be honest with you. My yeah. local arcade didn't have Return of the Jedi. Right. Um, but I, I do remember A lot of people it. don't like it, because a lot of people love the Star Wars, and they, yeah. they wanted a Vector game, I think. Yeah. And Return of Jedi is completely different, so it's not yes. everyone's cup of tea. Now, this cabinet, is this the same as an iRobot cabinet? I think it is, yeah. yeah. And then I a think major cabinet. Yeah. 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 So, so guys, this is an, a, an Atari cabinet, and you would have found Firefox in this cabinet, uh, Major Havoc, which is an awesomely rare arcade game, a Vector game, and one of my favourite games, iRobot, which I played back in the day, and I remember it being in this style of cabinet, which is actually quite a rare, but it's a generic Atari cabinet, which they use for all four games. Yeah, that's right. And, and what's, what's quite interesting, I'll put this And you've one got another one over here. This so is one. Got two, then. So this is one I bought to restore. Right. 
So I've done a pretty deep restoration on this one. So this one went right back down to the wood. Right, it looks out. minty. It absolutely looks like it's come out of the factory, yeah. I don't know if you've been watching John's arcade, but he did a restoration of a major havoc. Yeah. And he oh, had a bloke build all that. of yeah. this up. Nice. Well, this is. It's all repro art, but it's all yeah. really good stuff. So yeah. it's. Uh, a lot of it's come from America, from uh, Phoenix Arcade. Right. Yeah. It's been taken from the original. Uh, Scr um, screen print, yeah, whatever. from the it's what Atari used to actually, okay. yeah, to actually create the original artwork. It looks amazing, mate. I tell you. So it's, are it's these are the speakers on. here? Are they? Yeah, so oh, okay. six by nine. So you're getting yeah, that right, right in your side. face, aren't you? Yeah, it looks fantastic, mate. It really does. A nice little touch on the side because I was putting all new artwork on. I was able to take the art to a comic con. Well, right. our friend Darth Vader. Oh, do you know what I heard about this? Was, uh, well, that was you, was it? Yeah. So, so that's, um, what's his name? Um, David Prowse. Oh, David Prowse. So he's got David Prowse's signature. And he's just got a little quote from the game. So if I fire it up, actually, you'll hear. Security deflector shield will be deactivated when we have confirmation of your phone transmission. Leave it to me. I will deal with them myself. So Darth Vader isn't in there, but he has a little leave it to me. I'll right. deal with them myself. So he's, I've got that little quote from the game on the side oh, as well from there that he's put on. That is very cool. Uh, another nice little thing that some people might balk at, but I'll show you what my little secret project that's going on with this one. So if you look at the back, underneath here yeah. is dead space. And yeah. that was used, I believe, to hold the laser display for uh, Firefox. Oh, okay, yeah. But for things like the Jedi, it's just an empty space. Oh, so have you used that for storage? So you? I'm, I'll have a look in there. There's a uh, the little secret there? project as well as all the original arcade stuff. What have you got in there? I can't see, it's too dark. We've got a, a main PC on the way. Oh, main PC. So and you're going to have what? What other games are you going to have running in here? Star Wars. Then? Right. Uh, Firefox. Outrun, Space Harrier, Blimey. anything that's Use drivable right. is Pol pretty good. Uh, what's the other game? Pole position you can't no. do, that no. one doesn't work. Some driving games you don't work. You can have a robot well. in there. Yeah, that's another one for yeah. me to try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, fantastic. Everything's original in there. It's have you got, literally you've got the original PCB in there at the yeah, moment. It's all right original. And you will keep that original? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you actually. Let's get a little key. I know the light's going to be really bad. But yeah, I open this up at the back. And if you have a look in there, you'll see, see. all original. Oh, right, it's already right. You can't see that guys on the camera. I don't know about that. that but there's PCB literally a hidden. It's huge. It's big, isn't it? It's massive. There's a hidden switch up here. Right. I flick that. It's now running the PC. Oh, right. So the yeah. monitor goes in there, and the actual audio amp. Oh, that's output, very clever, mate. That uses the. That doesn't come up. Yeah. Oh, I've got no signal in, but because uh, if I switch the PC on, that's oh, all. <laughs> what a cam to have. You can just switch it over like that. That is awesome. It's a way to go though, mate, isn't it? If you want to maximise the amount of games in one well, space. Well, I've only got so much space, so oh, I, I love right. the original. I'm a big original hardware yeah. fan. Well, you, you see, that's why I got rid of my Popeye and my DK3. Yeah. They look fantastic, but they're quite similar to the other cabs, really. Yeah. But And they just take up so much room. And I just thought, well, I can just have... I can play DK3 in my Donkey Kong if I want to. And when I get my Sky Skipper sorted, I can play Popeye in there. But I'd have to just change the control panel over. Yeah. But it's all about space, and uh, we don't have space in England, do we? <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. I've loved more space, and that's probably the most precious thing. That's, yeah. that's what keeps So, have you got control. all the games you want, you desire, in this room? So, Space Invaders is where it started. That's yeah. the one that got me hooked. Yeah. I, I played some of the early black and whites, like the driving games, and yeah. Night Driver and stuff. I loved all those. Oh, Night Driver but, was a very early game. But Space Invaders is where the addiction started. Yeah. So, that means a lot to me. Pac Man. It's never been my favourite game, but it's a it's a really good sociable game. Everyone yes. plays it, even the ladies. The play ladies Pac like it. Yeah, that's why so it did so well back in the day. It's a good one to have in here. Yeah. Defender 
I never played as a kid because I just found it too hard. Yeah. It's a man's game. Yeah. It's so hard. Well, as a kid, I found the buttons were so far apart, you needed a big hand screen. Yeah. And as yeah. kids, we didn't have that. Oh, it's So useless. I never liked it at all, always found it hard. I even find it hard today. Yeah. Uh, so I've got, but I love the cab. I think it's a fantastic yeah. looking yeah. cab. And obviously when you've got your own and you can actually play it on free play, it yeah. doesn't matter that it's, it's, it is yeah. so hard. Yeah. But is it in back in the day, Scramble and things like that were much more my thing. Yes. Uh, but I, I love yeah. the artwork on it. It's, yeah, it's a great bit, cab. So let's have a look at this cab then. Let's get a bit closer up. So have you done much restoration to this cab yeah, or is it as is? It's restored really. There's a bought it quite a few years ago. Yeah. Uh, the front panel's original, but the sides are all resprayed. But yeah. it's, 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 it's nice and minty. It's a nice cab. Yeah. Uh, likewise, the Pac-Man, I think that's rest that came from the America. Yeah. Went to 25 cents down yeah. there. Uh, it's running a 96 in one actually. How was it? So if I flick that off. So it's, if you're not familiar with those, that's original Pac-Man hardware, okay. but it's just running some extra bits like on there. Pac-Man as well? I don't love it. I much prefer the original, original I've got one, yeah. Some people prefer the Miss Pac-Man, don't they? But we've got on there, we remember you playing well. eyes on, uh, on the podcast well, some didn't. time ago. Sure. Yeah. So, oh, right. so I it, haven't played this, so I'll have to play this. <laughs> again, it gives you a user one play button, yeah, it's a fire It's a button. very odd looking game, odd yeah. cab as well. Right? Yeah. That's fantastic. But it's mate. great, you, again, it keeps it original hardware, but then adds a, yeah. an extra dimension to yeah. it. Yeah, so can... gives you a little bit more to play with in here. Yeah. You haven't got a, uh, a jammer cab or main cab in here then? No, no. so this one. I've had can't you get a board? You can past. get a board for that though, can't you? A Williams board? That yeah, plays you other can games? get multi Williams. Yeah, have you thought about uh, that? Well, because you could play, well, I can't really play Robotron, can you? But you could play uh, so this is Stargate, the... is it? Or Sinister? Yeah, you, there's yeah. a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bubbles, is it? There's Bubbles, a few on there, yeah. yeah. So that is a control panel that yeah. I've made to run. Mame on, on it, but again, keep it all original. Like the Jedi, you can swap it over. And you literally, that's the board that goes with it. Nice. It's not all together at the moment. Yeah. But you literally, that'll get glued on. This comes out, that goes in. Same connector on both right. of them. Awesome. And then suddenly I've got Mame. And you're not really altering the original, you can put it all back to original if you want exactly, to. Exactly, yeah, it yeah. takes two minutes exactly. to put it back to original. It's Everything's a great idea. original. But that kind of looks very defenderish, yeah, so it kind yeah. of keeps the original look. Yeah. The other thing I think that some people make the mistake of is just putting too many buttons on. They try and get too much out of one yeah. machine, and it's. I made that mistake. Them. Victor kindly built me a bar top, and I, I designed it. I said yeah. I want two joysticks on there. Well, it's too small for two players. No, no, no two players on a tiny bar top. Yeah, yeah. I wish I'd just done one joystick and like a Neo Geo four button layout. Yeah, you know? yeah. That would have been enough. Uh, and also, I'm not really into the fighting games then, I no. think that's where you need all the extra yeah. buttons. So tell me a little bit about Space Invaders then. What, I mean, what is your first cab you ever brought? Uh, it was these two over there, those actually. Those two, yeah. and you're moving those two on? In fact, I got the receipt for it. You, oh, believe yeah. it or not, I paid, and I thought it was expensive in the early yeah. 90s. I paid 400 quid for both of them. Oh, I'd love Which to. Which is, uh, that's not a bad game. price these because days. Because Space Invaders, right, was the first video game I ever played. Was it? Me and my friend queued up round the block to yeah. play Space Invaders, and I remember it, it created so much hysteria. Yeah. Kids just... It wasn't just the game, it was the whole cab. Yeah. Kids were like, wow, you know, we were all into space oh. and all of that and aliens. What a lot It was just like, you, you look at the cab. Kids just can't you, imagine what it was like. You've got to remember you're down here. I know, yeah, you can't down here see as a kid. So you, and, reflected. and you couldn't work out how that was. How's it floating? It floating about in the back there, and it all seemed, we all went round the back of the cab yeah. to see how they were getting that image so far back. And I love how it does on the colours, you know, the colour overlays. Yeah, it's a yeah. black and white monitor, but they've done, they put colours in there. You it's can get a kit for this as well, well can't you? Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, yeah. I've got one in there actually. I'm you can not play space, um, not space launcher. Um, I can't remember what's on there. I do have the kit. There's some good ones on, on there. Yeah. I can't remember what the other ones yeah. are on there, but there's some good ones on there. Well worth getting. It's a uh, lovely cab, mate. This is a Japanese overlay actually on, on this one. Awesome. Uh, 
One of my little okay. Japanese writing on this just looks alien, doesn't it's it? Great, it just fits, it? doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's right. the sort of thing you'd see in Predator. Do you remember when he's sort of doing the countdown for his destruction? It all comes yeah. up in this weird writing that looks Japanese. It's so futuristic. And one of the things you always get is you always get the same burns. burns yeah. You used to obviously be cigarettes. That's uh, right on there. So yeah. I've been looking at trying to get one of these. Uh, recreated. It's amazing, mate. I had my first cab of Space Raiders Part 2, and I. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'd, I'd still love to have so it. So that's me in. work in progress panel yeah. for the other machine, so no fag burns. But it's just a, not too, it's just a bit too dark at the moment, yeah. so I might have to revisit that one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this is where it started. This is this is what got the addiction going. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still rubbish at it. Yeah, <laughs> what's, your, what's your high school? Oh, it's not good, it's embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, mate, it's fantastic. Um, just thought I'd do this for the viewers for my channel. This is Jim's Arcade. Uh, thanks very much, Jim, for showing us this. It's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you have to come and play again. Oh, definitely, mate. Cheers, mate. So that was Jim's Arcade. Thanks for putting us up, Jim. That's really good of you, mate. Really appreciate that. So, yeah, I left Jim's about, um, well, must have been about half six in the morning and got to Scarborough for about quarter to eight. Picked up this cab, uh, met the guy there, he was all right. He plugged it in, fired up first go. Saw it, didn't open up or do anything to it. Just thought, yeah, there's your money. I'll take the cab, let's go. Because I just wanted to get back to London as soon as possible. And um, for 150 quid, I thought it was great anyway, you know. So for spares, because that's all I'm going to use it for is for spares anyway, for Sheriff, because it's in a right state, to be honest with you. So yeah, have a look at this cab, guys. Um, this is Space Fever Colour. So guys, this is the Space Fever Colour I picked up from Scarborough on Saturday night. And as you can see, it's working perfectly. And the monitor looks absolutely amazing. Um, so this would be great for my sheriff that's coming over because the monitoring that's not working um, I mean, hopefully I can get it working, but it's always good to have a spare. I don't have a, uh, a spare monitor For any of my color cocktail machines, so I'm really using this whole cab as spares because the control panel here as you can see it's been blackened out um, They've used some other button there. It's not original And the whole power supply here looks well dodgy um, don't know what the hell's going on there, but I'm not touching any of that. That's all going to get ripped out. I'll save the monitor. And the game, Space Fever Colour, I can actually do a ROM, ROM swap to Space Fever High Splitter, which is another really rare Nintendo game, which I don't have in my collection. But I can just do a ROM swap and um, have another game, which I can just swap over in my Space Launcher Cocktail, which is this one here. But it's amazing to see, guys, all the original instruction decals inside, look at that, all in Japanese, it's always nice to see that and of course I'll keep this top and if anyone wants it, if they're doing any restorations, if they need any parts then I'll move it on but for me all I'm interested in is the monitor really and that's it, so that's it guys, that's my daughter, she wants to come in. Right so this was on top when I got it, the guy did say that this was vinyl and underneath there was the white top. So I was kind of hoping for something half decent, but unfortunately, someone's felt tipped around here with marker pen and it's ruined the top. I don't think you'll ever get that as marker pen. You might be able to with some high spirits, but they've painted all around here. It's in a bit of a state, really. But it's got the original Japanese uh, decal here, instruction decals in the front. So. I don't know, maybe it's, some, it's good for someone, maybe, I don't know. Let's put that to one side. Again, this is all going to be spares. I've saved it. I've saved it. It's been used for another cab to make another cab be mint. Make it look brand new. And this one will be used as well for something or other. the game board you see that guys let's have a look so that's a uh, space fever color tsf color see that zoom in there it says tsf cl which is color so that's space fever color 
which is pretty cool. And that's a working board, which is fantastic. So all good and all what I expected from that cab, really. I feel like Ronnie Cobbett there. Working monitor, working game, everything else, really. I suppose, you, you know, if you made the effort, you could put all that stuff together. But I've already done that. I don't need to do another one. I've already got black and white space fever. So really, I just want the innards, really, and any spares, any nuts, any bolts, screws, and whatnot. Um, the rest is all to go. But I mean, guys, if you if you want a project, um, I've got loads. I've got a graveyard of Nintendo cabs out the back here. If you're interested, just contact me. I'm sure I've got spares if you need them. Anyway, so yeah, so I got that back, and then Sunday, I went to Martin's Arcade, which is in Fleet. And he has some really special stuff in his arcade. And one particular cab that I've been dying to see for many years. And absolutely gobsmacked when I first saw it. Because he, he didn't tell me he had this. It literally arrived that week. And I walked through the door. And as soon as I saw it, I was just like totally blown away. This game is unbelievable. Anyway, I'll let you uh, guess what it is. This is the video of Martin's walk round of his arcade. Check this out, guys. Hi, right, Vic. This is Vic from the Ten Pence Arcade. Hello. Podcast. How you doing, Mel, son? Not bad, actually. You're very dark. Am I very dark? <laughs> Everyone says that. We're at Martin's Arcade here. Now, we've got some special cabs here, mate, haven't we? Lovely cabs. What's this yeah. one here? This one is one of my favourites. I want one of these. This is a video pinball. Video oh. pinball. I've been longing to play and see this. Have a look up there. It's, yeah, it's, sort, of, here, it's sort of half and half. It's actually got a physical play field up the top with 3D parts on and LEDs. And the actual game screen is projected onto it like the old Space Event so was. So just a little far up of it and show us how you play this game. Right, let's have a go. We've got to put coins in it as well. American quarters. Here you go. Coin in. Look at this, you've got a plunger and this moves as well. This yeah, is actually a tilt. Yeah. yeah, so you pull this and it's just a black and white game. Very, very simple, but because of the effects, it works really well. It actually looks like it's hitting. So you could in theory change the, the physical. Board Someone actually there. did it in America. They, they made um, a theme game. I can't remember which theme they did. They changed it all around. Like a multi -board. Yeah, it's really cool. The same game, but just a different theme. This is incredible. Game. Look at the flares on that guy on the left as well. It's Such a style of sort of. Uh, really cool. Cool. Sort of set, well, 70s, isn't it? He's got yeah. flares on. I think this game's 76. 76. Well, I truly want one of these. I really do. I missed that one on, on eBay a few years ago. Yeah. It went really cheap. I'm kicking myself. They didn't make it over here to the UK, though. I think it's 78. It says 1978 on here. 78, sorry, that's it, yeah. It's very, awesome. Very cool. It's very cool. I love the effects, the sound effects. They're so cheesy, but they're cool. Martin did really well to get this game. Yeah. Awesome. Is there much depth to the game? It's just a little pinball, really, yeah. but it works not oh, damn. It works really nicely, yeah. yeah. And the 3D effect has got black lights in it and all yeah. sorts. Really, really nice. I love nice. black light. So do I. Half mirror games. They're really cool. <laughs> so, what else have we got here then, mate? Oh. Lots of racing games. This, 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 this would be a favourite of lots of people. It's not of mine, but um, this Star Wars cockpit. Yeah, and it's got Return of the Jedi. It's a factory fitted one of them. Yeah, it would have been normally, yeah, but I think yeah. this is an original one for it. Right. It's actually got Return of the Jedi in the back glass. Right. Original back glass, okay. so it's official. It's official right. Atari conversion. Simon's playing Enduro Race. Yeah. Enduro Race. Now, I played this. This was a game I played a lot of back in the day. And I used to like the rider. Yeah, I found it really difficult to play. Actually. I used to build the Spectrum, this one. Yes, that was a great, great conversion, wasn't it, on the cool. Spectrum? Yeah. We've got Hang On as well. You like to see yeah. uh, the races. Super hang on, which is quite cool. And then you've got yeah. power drift. Yeah, yeah. well, it's outrun, isn't it? On the power it's drift outrun and the power drift cabin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was power drift just released in Japan only? I don't know. What game am I thinking of? I don't know. No, I thought I think you've got it here, yeah. Yeah. And then we've got another little room in the back here. This is a cool game. I love this game. Yeah, it's a great game. Get that's pizzas out of it and stuff. <laughs> that's quite smart. <laughs> we've got a little vet drink here. And that's. Uh, Martin's one. Yeah. I was playing some yeah, Who's the guy who's oh, making no. the games for these Vectrix the games? That is Chris. Chris. Uh, he's a nice bloke. He's doing the Big Blue game, which oh, is right. a really cool little shark. It's very like Scuba Dive. Very much like Scuba Dive. Such we a cool game. Yeah. Clever guy. This is I love the game this you're after, mate. Yep, I would love to own this, but Martin fortunately won't sell it. It's a really cool little I'm sure thing. another one will pop up. Don't you like the full size one, though? You want the side up? This one's so fitting well. It'll fit in with well. my arcade next to my asteroid. Breakout. Paper this is a Euro up. version of Breakout. Right. Super Breakout. Really nice controls. He's done a really nice job of this. Yeah, it's awesome. very similar controls to this 
jet fighter which came out what same year? I've got one of these. Yeah, you've got this one. This is 1975. 75. Yeah. So they're using the same uh, CPI though, aren't they? Pretty it's much. very similar. Same buttons. Well, this is a Euro version. I've never <laughs> seen one. Right. Really nice, good? nice cabinet. Yeah. Well, this, this one is the same. I made these buttons as well for Martin. Right. Because he okay. had yeah, different buttons in it. I made that. I've got to bet mine to work I love the alley sort of. Yeah, mm, it's cool. Face play. Black and white with little bits stuck on the actual. Yeah, yeah, when you don't white. die when you hit the clouds in this game. Not like fast <laughs> through. <laughs> and this is a lovely game. And we've got five oh, trucks. Now look at the. I've got to stand back here. Because oh, there's two players there. We've got Steve here on the back. He's a bit pissed, I think. No, 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 no. I think Carl's. I'm just Carl, Carl's <laughs> at the front here, so it's a two player driving game. Pop, pop, get out of the way. Pop, pop. Pop, what is this? 78 as well. Yes, I'll get it. Look at the artwork on there. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. Mm. It's, a, yeah, it's a difficult game though, mate. I was trying to play. read the list of them. And they've got a little chamber cake here, which has got a switching supply in it, so you've got different games. And that's my. So was that uh, main in there, is it? Or? No, it's uh, original, that's the original PCB. Oh, okay. When you press this button here, it plays at the PCB, which is my country master at the moment. That's what I need. Yeah, I'll okay, do it. Cool. Nice. I think I've got little. Oh shit, it's points for you. That's my PC because you're not going to get that out. Little cars, Hot Wheels cars. I look at those in America, but they, they don't really sell they them. Do, they do uh, Nintendo ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm not getting into those, I'm not going to get yeah, into yeah. Look at Sean, Sean from the 10 pence, how you doing mate? Yeah, Alex, I'm just going to drown play this. Yeah, I think I've put money in the wrong bit. Money in. I'll write on the right hand side. Anyway, that's it. Very, very cool. Yeah, awesome little place. Yeah. Nice of Martin to invite us. So, so I just want to say a big thank you to Martin for putting on such a great show Sunday. All those cabs, man, they were absolutely awesome. And just walking in and seeing that video pinball was just mind blowing. I just didn't think you'd have something like that there. I have been wanting to play that game for such a long time. Um, really, really cool. I mean, the cab lineup that you had there was brilliant. Um, the, the fire truck looked awesome, plays brilliantly. Great two player game. Uh, Centipede, had great fun with that with Sean. Um, little competition with me and him going on there, that was good fun. And Vic, yes, you do need that cab, that is a brilliant game. And you know what, I prefer that game now actually than I did back in the day. It's funny that, isn't it? Some games you don't gel with, like Endura Racer. I was really looking forward to playing that, but didn't gel with it this time, you know, and I haven't played it since I was a kid. And it's funny, it just didn't gel with it. Whereas games like Centipede, which I didn't like back in the day, I gel better with now. So it's funny how things work out with games, isn't it? But yeah, we had some amazing games there. Um, the, uh, Breakout, Jet Fighter, I mean, these are really old black and white games, um, which are great fun when you've got two players, they really are. Um, yeah, just a great day, great meeting everyone. Steve, Atari Tubin, it was great to meet you, mate. He'd come all over from California, not especially for the meet, but um, he was on holiday with his wife and the meet just happened to be on, so he came down to see us and it was great chatting to Steve because Steve contributes quite a lot to UK VAC. He posts some really unusual and rare pictures of cabs and he's helped me out a lot with Sky Skipper and Sheriff. He gave me the opportunity to buy a couple of the original flyers, which was really nice of him. So it was really nice to see him. And the usual crowd, Ollie, you know, and Steve Larkins. It was great to see you all. It was a great day, really enjoyed it. Lovely to see everybody there. Chris as well, he does the Vet Drex. Um, homebrew stuff, he's got some cool games. Yeah, it was a really good day. Now, I have got lots of pickups, lots of games, um, mainly Game Boy Advance games, but I'm going to do them in another video because it's more arcade related. This video, but I will do one other arcade related pickup, and this is what I got off Ollie. I don't know where the hell he got this from. This is Uber Rare Nintendo, Nintendo Shizzle, guys. This is so cool. This is original 1974 Wild Gunman film, right? Now, this this game, I don't know if you know, came out on the NES. It's a brilliant game, it's a light gun game, but it actually came out probably 10 years before this release in 1974. I'm not quite sure of the release on the NES, but I imagine it's around 84. So, yeah, 10 years prior, Nintendo released it into the arcades as a 16mm projector movie game where you had a light gun and obviously if you, you shot 
in the right places on the film, it will trigger another film in of the guy falling to the ground. A bit like my Battle Shark. Um, but my Battle Shark has two different uh, images on one film. But this game has loads of film. And you can choose from about eight games, I think it is. It is absolutely incredible. Um, so all these films are either different sequences within the game or actually different paths to go down. So I think there was about four or five different paths you could choose from at the start of the game. So all these would have been in the actual cabinet, but these are all different, if you like, different paths you could choose within the game. It is incredible. Um, look, Wild Gunman, 1974. 16 millimeter film, look at that. Now I'm never gonna get a chance to play this, um, but I do know that a, do, a couple of cabs did turn up in Europe, so I might get in touch with these guys and see what happened to them. Um, I'll show you my original flyer, which I've got on the wall. So this is what the cab would have looked like, okay? So you've got a big 47 inch screen here, like a projector would have come out of this cab here at the bottom, very similar to my Battle Shark, because that runs 16 millimeter film. And I do remain, remember these vaguely um, being in the arcades, but not much. Um, but yeah, I mean, they must have done quite well. So the, yeah, that's it guys, this is Wild Gunman, and that one there is Shooting Trainer. Now I imagine you probably could have had both films running in these cabs swap them over so they weren't dedicated cabs for each game a bit like battle shark would have had skyhawk running in it as well so yeah really unusual find to get this wild gunman 16 millimeter film that is rare stuff guys there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine there's about 10 films here i've got and um if i ever do find the cab Right, that would be awesome, wouldn't it, to get that going? Unbelievable, unbelievable stuff, guys. So that's it for this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for the next video, and I'll do all my pickups because I've got loads here to show you, but not this week. We'll save it for the next video. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribes. And um, check out my Facebook page, Ninty Arcade, if you want to see some other pictures of other people's machines or whatnot, go to Ninty Arcade on Facebook or you can check me out on Nintendo Arcade on Twitter. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next video.